Welcome to the PowerShell demonstration video on how to download and install NetGuard for Windows on a Windows operating system computer. So the first thing you have to do is open your browser. So let's go and do that. Okay, I've, I'm using Chrome for my default browser. So let's go to the PowerShell website and let's go and do that. Okay, we're on the PowerShield homepage. So the first thing to do is to use these buttons across the top. So we just slide across these buttons until we get to the support page and then go to the download area and click on the download area. So let's go and do that. Okay, we're now in the download area. Now, we want to download NetGuard for Windows. So we let's go and click on NetGuard for Windows and commence the download. So let's go and do that. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner here, you can see install NetGuard for Windows is commencing the download. It's 148 megabytes. Uh, so it will take a little bit of time. So I will pause the video until we get to the end of it. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're just coming up on 144 megabytes and we have about four seconds left. So I thought I would just come back to the party. And here we are. The installation is complete. The download is complete, I'm sorry. Um, and now what uh, Chrome will obviously come up and, and warn me about is do you want to keep the file or do you wish to discard it? Well, in our case, we want to keep it because we want to do the install. So let's keep the file. So press keep. Okay. Now that I've, I've pressed, I've elected to keep the file, it's, it's a zip file. So what I need to do is go and open it and use my extraction tool to open um, the file. Okay, so at the moment I'm using 7-Zip as an extraction tool. So let's just left double click on this and go ahead and extract and commence the install process. All right, so this is the extraction part. So now Install Anywhere is preparing the install process. So we just let it go through its um, process of doing that. Almost done. 90%. Okay, now we've arrived at the part which is really the NetGuard installed proper section. So let's not be too brave and just click on all the defaults. So I'll start by pressing OK. All right, so we want to install NetGuard. We want to guide through the introduction. So let's just go with all the defaults. Okay, we want to install to the default directory so we don't get caught up with the legal file names so let's just do that and again let's follow the defaults and let's commence the install so there we go now it'll take a little bit of time to do that and while that is happening I can just remove these background extraction tools because we're already up and I can drop down the monitor <coughs> And we'll just watch NetGuard go through its installation process. So it's about 60%. 80-90%. And it's just reconfiguring the system. So we just have a little bit of extra patience. Might take a moment. And we are done. So let's press done. And there you go. So NetGuard will now automatically commence by starting itself and it will run here in the taskbar. And you see the icon starting to open up. And after a short period of time, this message box opens up the communications message window telling me that communications has been established with my Safeguard 750 attached to this Windows computer. Uh, now at the same time, if we go down to the taskbar here, we, uh, I mentioned the icon earlier, you can see there's a little circle there recirculating, a red and white circle. That just tells me that uh, communications has been established 
with the Power Shield Safeguard 750, and that's been confirmed by this message window. So let's right click on this icon in the taskbar. You can see that the monitor started because it's been grayed out and it's ticked. So let's just go and open the monitor. So let's do that. Okay, so in my case, uh, the default monitor is browser is Chrome, and this is the opening window that NetGuard presents itself when you first start NetGuard, and you can just follow the power flow through the Safeguard 750 UPS. So there you have it. That's a very simple install process on how to install NetGuard for Windows. Thank you for watching this PowerShield demonstration video on how to install NetGuard.